Okay, I think it's about time we spoke about Icon Swaps 2. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. By the way, my voice is a little bit shocked because I've been streaming like literally every single day for the last week. So yeah, if you want to guys check, check out my Twitch, it's in the description. It's just, it's HABER. That's my Twitch. I stream pretty much every day in the mornings. That's besides the point. Let's talk about Icon Swaps 2. Now, Icon Swaps 1 ran out a few days ago and a lot of people have been wondering where is Icon Swaps 2? Now, EA posted uh, a, a, a forum, I think this is called, or it's just like they're on their website. They posted a few different updates. Uh, they spoke about Prime Icons being released into packs. They spoke about Season 3 being a shorter holiday-themed season. They also spoke about Icon Swaps 2. Now, it says, Season 3 also brings a new round of Icon Swaps with six new player tokens to earn in exchange for Icon Rewards. Icon Swaps and player tokens will be revealed for December 6th. The 26th, not 6th, 26th. So basically, Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, we get Icon Swaps. I predict it'll be about 6 p.m. that day. We'll get the new Icon Swaps, we'll get all the new SBCs, and the first batch of uh, objectives. Now, a lot of people seem to think that means we're going to get six tokens. Now, with the way it's worded, I personally think that this means six additional tokens onto the 24 we usually get a lot of people think it's going to be six in this season um meaning that we have six for the first uh sort of set of objectives and then maybe 18 the next set personally it doesn't make a lot of sense to me i don't think that uh, ea would sort of merge it maybe i'm completely wrong and i definitely could be and i hold my hands up and if i am completely wrong and it is only six tokens then you know my prediction at the end of this video will be way off but uh i went with a, a higher tier prediction just simply based on on sort of team of the year and stuff like that I can't imagine EA would give us, like, a baby on re for 30 tokens, you know? I, I, like, for example, um, I think we're going to get some really good prime icons or middle icons in there. Uh, and I'm going to go through a few predictions, uh, a few uh, suggestions, and, and talk to you guys about what, who I think could potentially be in the next set of icon swaps. So designers, traders, YouTubers, and just overall Twitter users have been predicting icon swaps 2 for a little while now. And I thought we'd have a look at some of the predictions, and I'd sort of uh, decide whether or not I think they're good predictions. So the first one comes from Joe Bagman, who says, what do you guys think of this icon? Icon Swaps 2 prediction, I would definitely grind for that Dalgleish. Now, I would as well. Dalgleish would be a fantastic icon to get. However, with 20 plus tokens, uh, he's not taken into account uh, the six new ones. I think this was posted before EA updated us with these six new tokens. Uh, if I was to, to sort of look at this and discuss uh, who I, I think is, is good options for, uh, for, for their sort of position in here, I think 15 to 19 tokens... Baby Hullet would be a cool option. I personally didn't like Baby Hullet this year, but, I, you know, each to their own, he'd be a really cool option to take. Uh, same with Carlos Alberto, Blanc, uh, Zola and Stoichkov. Ronald Koeman, I think his prime should be in the next Icon Swaps. I don't think his middle card is sort of as good now as his prime card. I think his prime card is definitely uh, not too overly meta and definitely uh, a great option. Um, Perez, I think is decent, but I'm not the biggest fan of Perez. I think he could definitely get a better uh, better suggestion there. Maybe a middle on re um, in the 15 to 19 tokens bracket same with kaka i think he's put kaka as an italian when he meant <laughs> he meant brazilian um i think with kaka um I, I don't know his 87 card i think is a bit unfair if he were to release that now i think we need to be looking at either his his, his middle or his, his prime icon now um with the stage of the game we're at we're about to enter team of the year which is going to have some huge players dropped and i think that's what we need to take into account is that team of the year is going to give us Team of the Year midfielders, Team of the Year defenders, Team of the Year attackers. We're going to need some really good players to defend against those amazing players in the game. And I think that EA need to realise that and re produce a really good Icon Swaps to uh, 2. Icon Swaps 2? I was going to say Icon Swap Token 2, but Icon Swap 2 um, to allow us to, to sort of defend against some amazing players. So I think EA need to be bringing out some, some seriously good uh, players for Icon Swaps 2. Now, the next prediction I have is from Simon Kroof, who pretended that it was leaked. It isn't leaked. We all know it's not leaked. Uh, this one is very, very modest at best. I think this is actually a really off prediction. I don't think this prediction is very good, personally. Um, obviously, the, the graphics are really good and stuff like that. I just think that, in terms of the players you've gone with, I think for 20-plus tokens, we want to be getting prime best, prime Kaka, middle Vieira. Honestly, that's how I feel, because if we get, like, a middle Vieira, I think it'd be, like, 28, 29 tokens out of the 30 that we get, and I think that's fair, because it's going to take us a long time to grind those. Um, with the 15 to 19 tokens, I agree with Hullet. 
Um, and that's pretty much the only one I agree with. I think that Cannavaro's baby card for 15 to 19 tokens is quite a lot. Uh, I would personally look towards his prime, honestly. Uh, Van der Sar, definitely unfair. A goalkeeper in the 15 to 19 tokens bracket is very unfair. I don't see EA giving a goalkeeper in the 15 to 19 tokens bracket. Um... Same with, with Campbell, De uh, Campbell, should I say, definitely not. Nakata, no way. Same with Veron and Gattuso and Burkamp. I think that, the, I mean, Burkamp's actually quite fair. I'd say Burkamp is quite fair. N Nedved's quite fair as well. Um, but the rest of them, I'd say, probably down low. And arguably, looking at the looking at the lower category, um, I'd say a lot of those are a good uh, sort of array of players for the lower category. You know, we've got Zambrata, who's definitely a good one to unlock for, for 6 to 14 tokens. Ronald Koeman's middle card, if it's like 8 or 9 tokens, would be a decent unlock. Um, same with sort of John Barnes or Rykard. And what I really hope is that despite having 30 tokens, EA don't start raising the minimum tokens to like 12. I hope that we still get players for like 6 to 8 tokens. And if we can get like some good players between 6 and 15 tokens, and we can unlock 2 or 3 really good icons, I think that'll be really fair and have a really, really positive impact on the Icon Swaps promo. Um, EA have the ability to make some really, really good promos here. Uh, and, sorry, some really good choices for the promo here. So I hope that they make the right choice. Definitely. Now, the next one's going to be from Justy, um, who says, My FIFA 20 Icon Swaps 2 prediction. Uh, I made this considering we will get the top tier icons just before February when Icon Moments release, uh, providing they do two seasons with two tokens in each again. Uh, I'm not too sure we'll get any Moments cards in this. This will be the next set. The Icon Swaps 3 is when we're going to get Moments cards, I think. Um, I appreciate the sentiment though. I appreciate the uh, the idea as well. Matthias, I think, has definitely got to be uh, the middle Matthias. Um, and I think Vieira's got to be the middle Vieira as well. Don't get me wrong. I think Baby Dalgleish, Baby Vieira, Baby Matthias, um, to name a few, uh, are fantastic cards in the game. Do not get me wrong. But I think at this stage of the game, EA's got to be given us the middle versions because they're going to last way longer. A Baby Vieira, a Baby Dalgleish, a Baby Matthias... Although they're great, I think in a month's time, we're going to be not even looking at those cards in comparison to the cards we'll have. You know, we're looking at a Future Stars promo coming out pretty soon. We're going to get another set of icons, the Icon Moments cards. We're going to get SBCs. We're going to get so many different plays in the game, as well as Team of the Year and, and every other promo you want to throw at us that I think the baby icons aren't going to be applicable. Even the really OP ones are going to be like quite difficult to use in game, I think, uh, in comparison to all these amazing meta cards. So I think that when we get in these cards, we want to get at least a middle tier version. I think that that is personally fair, in my opinion, from EA. Uh, the next one's going to come from uh, Foot Machine, who uh, has, has pro pro excuse me, provided his um, icon, sw icon Swaps prediction. I can't even speak right now. This is a really, really good prediction. I'm a big fan of this one. Um, Prime Dalgleish, Middle Matthias, Prime, Prime Grincher, or sorry, Middle Grincher. I'd personally put Prime Grincher for the 20 plus. I think is, is a good uh, suggestion. What I hope EA do is have a 25 plus category where they have like Prime Dalgleish, Prime Grincher, maybe Prime Matthias or something like that. Some really good players. And then they have a 20 plus category, then a 50, uh, sorry, a 15 to 19, and then a 6 to 14 category. So four different levels, four different tiers. Because if you're getting like 28 or 29 tokens, you deserve deserve a prime Dalgleish or a prime Garincha or a prime Matthias or a prime Vieira. Someone incredible, I think you definitely deserve. The way I sort of look at it is I look at sort of the SBCs we got last year and I think um, prime Vieira's SBC was about 1.7 million. Now, if you were good at gr crafting, you were good at uh, uh, sort of using different cards to craft different tokens, uh, you could definitely get that card for a lot cheaper. Um, a lot of people grinded and crafted uh, with the Icon SBCs last year. And I think that a lot of people got that Prime Vieira for way under a million coins. Um, so that's sort of the way I look at it. Like uh, I look at uh, fairness in that retrospect. So I would personally say this, this is actually a really, really good um, prediction. And I hope that we get four different tiers. Now I'm actually going to make my own prediction for you guys right now. And we'll sort of see how it goes. Okay, we're on Photoshop now and we've got the, the Icon background. We've got we've got the canvas. I'm going to go and grab some icons that I think will be in a 25 plus category. And you guys can see if you agree with me or disagree. So here is my prediction for the top tier. Now, I actually think that for the top tier, we could get a middle Hullet for 29 tokens, a Prime Vieira for 28, and a Dalgleish for 27. Now, the reason why I think that is middle Hullet for 29, EA likes to do it where you can have one token that you miss out on, but just one, because a lot of them are difficult. You know, the, the squad battle ones are difficult for the players that aren't maybe as good as the game uh, and, and stuff like that. So they like to have one where you can miss out on one. You know, Jogba is 23 out of 24. Uh, so I think that middle Hullet could be 29 tokens because 
because this card will be used and usable for basically the rest of the game. There's no way this card won't be usable until the end of the game. Let me, uh, do you want to zoom that in? Or, no, we'll just keep it like that. Um, so, like, this card will definitely, without a doubt, be usable for the entirety of the game, up until the end of Team of the Season. And until we get, like, Team of the Season uh, high-rated, like, 92, 93 rated centre mids that we get in Team of the Season, uh, this card won't be matched by any other players. Uh, now, Prime Vieira, I went with 28 tokens. The reason why I went with 28 tokens for Prime Vieira uh, mainly is because this card is a phenomenal CDM and, again, won't be matched by a lot of players. When we get Team of the Year, obviously, there'll be players like Team of the Year Kante. Uh, we could get players like Team of the Year De Bruyne um, and other Team of the Year variants of players. Maybe a Team of the Year De Jong if we get one of those. Um, and there's going to be a lot of players that could potentially rival a Prime Vieira. Obviously, won't play as good as Prime Vieira in-game, but there'll be a lot of other options that people may go with. Um, so the reason why I went with Prime Vieira is 28 tokens is because you won't be able to unlock another Prime icon with him. It's going to be a hell of a grind over a two-month period, um, but it'll be definitely worth it because, you know, that'll be a player you keep in your team, again, until sort of team of the season. And for 27 tokens, I went with uh, Kenny Dalglish. It really doesn't matter whether it's 27, 28, or 29. With these tokens, uh, out of 30, we won't get any that are two or three tokens. So realistically you're not going to be able to unlock any other icon. It's going to be a whole month for one player. And if you're getting one player in a whole two-month period of grinding, I think it's got to be one of the best players in the game. That's why I went with Prime Kenny Dalglish as 27 tokens. And these are definitely my higher-end top three for uh, my icon swaps prediction. I, I think they're pretty fair as well. So I'd say uh, uh, Vieira and Hullet definitely could be up there with a, the top tier ones. For sure. Now, for reference, I'm going to make a uh, bigger document where I'm going to put all of the uh, all of the tokens that I predict uh, and all the players, sorry, that I predict with their tokens in a bigger document, so you guys can see my overall icon swaps prediction. So, as you see, the top tier for me is Hullet, Vieira, and Dalglish. This is my next set of predictions. Now, this is the 20 to 26 bracket that I was talking about because the we had the the obviously the the 27, 28, 29 players or 27 to 30. So this is the 20 to 26 bracket. Uh, I've put in Prime Henri, Baby Zidane, Prime Stoichkov, Prime Carlos Alberto, and Prime Desai. Mainly the reason was I wanted some uh, diversity with the players I went with. I don't think that a middle or Prime Zidane is fair to give in this category, considering you could probably unlock an extra player. On the, on the on top of that, you can maybe go with like a uh, a Zidane and then a goalkeeper or someone that's just like six to eight tokens. Um, same with like Henri, Stoichkov, Carlos Alberto, Desai. Now, the reason why I'm with Henri is because Henri is actually a phenomenal looking card, um, but there will be cards better than him. 100%. Um, but it will be a card that if you could unlock, you will very much enjoy. Same with Stoichkov. He's a fantastic card, but there will be a lot of cards better than him. Carlos Alberto, the reason why I put him in here, because that will be the best right back you'll use for the entire game, in my opinion. You won't find a better right back than Carlos Alberto. And Desai will be one of the best centre backs in the whole game until, obviously, their, all their moments cards come out that will have better stats than these cards. But uh, I think that this is a fair prediction for 20 to 26. Maybe it's a little bit too generous, but I'll be honest with you, if Yeon given his massive cards, in this next set of icon swaps, then I'll be very surprised because 30 tokens, two months, the idea of, of massive tradable cards and SBCs to grind out tradable cards will come. Uh, they, they've got to give us something to work towards, in my opinion, definitely. So I'd say that this is pretty fair for the next batch of icon swaps. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the higher tier list and we'll see what they look like next to uh, my previous predictions. There we go. So obviously we have the top boys at the top. Then we have uh, Stoichkov, Zidane, Henri, Alberto and Desai. Now let's have a look at the 15 to 19 bracket. Here is my 15 to 19 bracket. Uh, I went with five again because uh, I think that we could actually get uh, a larger pool of lower players as well. Uh, I went with Kaka's middle card, Clivert's prime card, Socrates' prime card, Makaleli's prime card, and Puyol's prime card as well. Now I went with Kaka's mi uh, uh, middle card because I think that they could use his prime card in the next set, um, and I'm, I'm thinking that they might do something like that. Cliver I went with because he's a good-looking card, but doesn't necessarily fit the meta of this game as much as, as other cards do. Um, you know, last year he was great because the meta was more crossing and heading and stuff. This year it's more agility, balance, things like that. But he'll still be a phenomenal card to use. Same with Socrates, um, and I think that they'll both be uh, really, really nice to unlock. You know, imagine being able to unlock a Socrates and a Cliver. I think that'd be very fair from EA um, because I think they're both very good cards, but they're not going to win you loads of games, in my opinion. They're not going to be like a Hullet that's going to play 
unreal. They're going to play really well, but I think that definitely still going to be uh, capable of defending against them. I went with Makaleli as well because he's actually not that quick this year. Uh, like, it doesn't seem that quick compared to a lot of midfielders. I like my midfielders having high 80s in pace now. I just noticed that really quick midfielders seem to be way more OP for me than than, than not as quick midfielders. But 80 pace is still pretty good. Uh, a nice looking card. Um, fits the meta in, in, a, in a way, you know, he's almost like, a, in a way, Kante. Um, now, yeah, I'm probably just saying that because he's a French CDM that's quite small in game. But um, he seems like a good card and would be fair to get for maybe like 16, 17 tokens. Um, but definitely not fair to have higher on, you know, like he's not going to be a card where you can only look one card and it's him. That's just unfair in my opinion. And then we went with Prime Puyol because although he's only got 70 pace, you know, he's pretty small, doesn't really fit the, uh, sorry, he's not pretty small, he's pretty slow, doesn't fit the meta that much this year. I think he'll definitely be one that people want to unlock, you know, if they're big Puyol fans, Bass fans or whatnot. So I think that that'll be, definitely be a nice one for them to unlock. Um, I think these are pretty fair as well. You know, there's not ridiculously amazing players in there. There's just like decent ones that are pretty good. Uh, that Clive is a bit too high and it's really annoying me. Um, you know, there's, there's no one, there's no one in there that's going to be like a world beater that is going to be ridiculously broken when you unlock him. But there's also no one in there that's going to be, an, uh, you know, a really <laughs> overachieving player in terms of, of EA's uh, standbook. So I'd say that definitely um, these are these are definitely fair if you ask me. And just like that, the 15 to 19 are now in our bigger page uh, and making our prediction look even bigger uh, and, and more diverse. So let's go with the 6 to 14 pool. Here is my 6 to 14 prediction. So they're not in any particular order. So, you know, there's not like highest tokens to lowest tokens or anything. Uh, not like the other ones apart from the top three aren't in particular order either. Uh, but I've gone with Prime Hierro. Uh, I think that's Middle Zola, Middle uh, Ronald Koeman, Middle Zambrotta, Middle Essien, Prime Closer, Prime Barnes, Prime Nakata, Prime Ness. Prime Gattuso, Prime Van der Sar, and Prime Ian Rush. Uh, sorry, Middle Ian Rush even. Uh, now, uh, I went with Prime Piero because uh, he's a good card, very decent card. There's a lot of different options that are better than him, in my opinion. Uh, but he's going to be a good card for a lot of people, especially being free. If you can get, like, the reason why I went with a lot of these is because you'll be able to get, like, two or three of these. Um, and two or three of these will upgrade your team massively from, you know, normal rare gold cards. But just one of them won't necessarily very much. Uh, I went with Middle Zola because he's actually a really, really good striker in Kamen this game very versatile uh, definitely a good option um could have made it into the the 15 to 19 uh sort of category maybe just but i went on the lower category to be a little bit generous to myself really i went with Komen because he's actually a really good uh a really good center back in this game uh can play cdm as well uh but i feel like isn't gonna massively Im improve your defense if you've got for example like a road to the final militao and uh i don't know like a team of the year nominee ramos or like a van dyke or something um with zambrotta because he'll be a fantastic left back but doesn't rival a lot of other left backs like you know footmas mendy um sbc dow but Inform Alex Teller. I think uh, he doesn't rival a lot of those. That's why I, I think he'll be in the lower category. Uh, Essien's middle card, because his baby card actually looks a lot better than his middle card, in my opinion, um, which is why I thought they'd put his middle card in, because he'll be a good addition to CDM, but, you know, we've got the likes of Kante, Footmas, Zoko, other players that are definitely just as good um, that people might already have. So uh, I went with people, I went with uh, players that'll be appealing to people that don't have certain players and not appealing to the, to the people that do have certain players. I went with Prime Closer, because he doesn't really fit the meta this year, but a lot of people might have fun with the card anyway, because a lot of people just like to have fun on the game. I uh, went with Prime Barnes because he looks pretty good. A lot of Liverpool fans might want to go with him. English fans might want to go with him. Uh, Nakata, because his uh, Prime card looks all right. Pretty well around a centre mid, um, but nothing too special. Uh, Nesta, because his Prime card has great defending. Not very much pace, though, and, and might put a lot of people off. Gattuso, because his card looks actually, apart from defending and physical, pretty average, if that. So, again, wouldn't get in my squad over at, like, a footmas uh, Sizoko, to be honest. Um, um, I went with Prime Van der Sar because he will be probably most people's go-to goalkeeper for, for the rest of the game if they complete him. Um, but everyone's got, you know, a Footmas De Gea or a De Stegen right now that's just as good. Um, so it's whether or not you just want to complete him for six or seven tokens, really, because it is a goalkeeper. No one really likes completing goalkeepers. And the last one is middle Ian Rush because, I mean, I just wanted to put him in there because I kind of like Ian Rush a little bit. Uh, but it's, you know, I don't think anyone's really desiring that card as much. So I'm going to go add these cards now to my overall uh, prediction. We'll see how it looks. And here we have my icon, icon, icon swaps prediction. Now it's laid out a little bit strangely in comparison to other predictions. I know I understand that, but I went with this as my icon swaps prediction. Uh, so obviously the top, as we saw, Hullet, Vieira, Dalglish, Henri Zidane, Stoichkov, Alberto Desai, uh, Kaká, Cliver, Socrates, Makaleli, Puyo, Hierro, Zola, Komen, Zambrotta, Essien, Van der Sar, Closer, Barnes, Nakata, Nesta, Gattuso, Ian Rush, 
there are my icon swaps predictions. Let me know what you think down below. And also, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, make sure you leave a like down below. If you like videos like this where I literally create stuff on the video for you, then please uh, let me know down below by uh, leaving a like and a comment. Thank you all for the epic support on the channel recently. You guys have been epic. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you lads later.